Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. I'm doing really good. I'm really excited about this. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, why is he starting a new series without finishing the old ones? Blah, blah. I know, dude. I know. But listen to me. Listen to me. This is fun. And also, I'd rather do something on this channel than nothing at all and just do gaming videos. So for me, this is a great way to just keep it going. And, and it's really good to learn about a game engine that's already established and is really popular because then you kind of understand how game engines are made and what makes them good, right? And Unity is used in a lot of places. And I just feel like I'm empty in my soul because I don't have a Unity tutorial on my channel. And I've done so many Unity courses here and there, whatever, and, and tutorials, this and that. So for me, this is important and I really enjoy it. And I hope you'll enjoy it as well. So just bear with me through this. We'll do it. We'll do it with free assets. You don't have to buy anything. We'll uh, we'll go through it. It'll be it'll be very similar to other courses you might have seen. And also, why should you watch mine? I don't know. Maybe you like my voice. I'm not sure. But let's just go ahead and do this. So first steps first. Go to Unity.com. Easy peasy. One, two, three. Lemon squeezy. Press the download button. Go ahead and do that. You'll come to a page where it says download for Windows. Now hopefully you're on Windows. Hopefully, I'm not sure if you're on any other OS, it should say that here. You could just download it from here. It should be the same. I'm pretty sure it's it's very multicultural, I was going to say, but it's very multi uh, system, whatever, you know, it's, it's it, it works for all the systems. OK, so just get it. So once you click the download button, it should download. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed, obviously. Uh, why is there? OK, I probably did that before. Anyway, so once you download it, install it, the basic, just the general way, whatever nothing special. Once that's done, you'll come to a Unity Hub, which is uh, this one. And we'll just go through this real quick. So open up your hub. You'll come to a projects page. You also have your user here where you can do some stuff. It'll probably ask you to manage or add a license. And what you can do is you can just add a personal license, which obviously is a personal license. It doesn't really cost you anything. It's just there. So you have a, a type of license. You have a lot of uh, preferences here as well. You can play around with some appearance stuff. Of course, you need the dark theme. I'd say you can't follow this tutorial if you don't have the dark theme. So you got to do the dark theme. I don't play with light theme people. OK, that sounds really bad, but you know what I mean? So next step, let's go through this quick projects. Very simple. You'll see what projects you have whenever you create a new one which we'll do very soon. And you'll see the editor version that it's using. Since obviously they'll release new versions, you might want to change those here and there. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd rather start a new project than keep the same version. But if you're running it kind of a long time and you're working on a project for a really long time, um, you might want to upgrade it to a new one. Next section is the installs. This is where you'll see what you have installed. So these are all the editor versions I have installed. You can kind of filter them here. Also, you can install a new editor from this one. And you'll see the different types here. Very, very simple. You can play around with that. The learn section is kind of nice because that you don't really need to watch my tutorial if you want to go here and just learn it through this. But it's kind of fragmented here and there, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've used a few of these and they're they're pretty good. The community section is well, it's a community section, forums and stuff, discussions, all the stuff a community needs and also the asset store. So I, I really like the asset store in Unity. They took it out of Unity, the engine itself, and put it on online, basically. Kind of, if, if you can explain it that way, it used to be a GUI thing in the editor, but now you can go to the asset store, the Unity, and just check out all the assets. There's a lot of free assets you can use. You don't have to use the ones I'm going to use. Um, yeah, you can find something you like. The download section, well, you see your downloads. So before ending this beautiful video, let us create a new project. Just like I was saying, this will be our beautiful project, which we're going to use. Once you click on the new project, you'll be shown this whole screen here. It's not a lot of complicated stuff here. First of all, you want to choose a version for the editor. And I'm going to choose the 2022.3.20 F1 long time support. So this is what you want if you want to follow this series. You can choose another one if you want. I'm pretty sure it's going to work, but I'd uh, to be safe, I'd choose this one. Then what you'll do is you'll choose one of these templates. Now you're never really locked to maybe 2D or 3D since the engine is the engine it just works the same way. It just sets it up in a way where it's better for 2D if you click this one and it's better for 3D if you click this one. Kind of gives you some starting starting setup stuff, but I'm going to click on 2D. 
you can check and filter the templates here as well. You can search for a specific one here. Let's just click 2D and then obviously you have a project name. So I'm just going to say 2D uh, YT tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Just call it something cool. You don't have to call it like this. Then you'll put it somewhere where you want to put it. I'll put it right here for now. And then I'll say create project. Once you do that, it will start chugging along and it will create that for you. So Unity will take a while to start up when you make a new project. And it's not strange. It's not weird. It took a while for me too. But once you're in, it should look like this. You have your tabs, you have your windows, you have all kinds of stuff here looking great. And we'll go through all of this in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you'll enjoy this series. We'll do what we can. We'll have a good time and you'll learn a lot of stuff. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.